What's going on guys, my name's Offender Machine and today I'm bringing you an SA805 Chem Strike on the map Freight but this is actually only going to be a background gameplay and before I start with what I want to talk about as you can tell in the title of the video um, I'm going to be talking about my upload schedule I'm going to be uploading, I'm going to try and get every day done I mean it, whether it's a Chem Strike or like a good gameplay because I've realised that YouTube's kind of like brushing your teeth and that's a really weird comparison but yeah, I found I found it was kind of like brushing your teeth. Like the more you do it, the better content you'll have. And if you brush your teeth more, you'll have better teeth, and people will notice it more. So people notice it if you have good teeth, and people notice if you have good content, and there's lots of it. So and the more times you brush your teeth, the more teeth you'll keep, and then the more content you have, you know, the, obviously the more content you have, and it's more visible to people. And that's a really weird comparison. But anyways, what I wanted to talk about today, and you can see it in the title of the video as well is what if Call of Duty had a matchmaking system that was skill based like only for each game mode I've always wondered that and I've always wondered will they ever do it in a future Call of Duty because a lot of people on Call of Duty it is fairly like kind of skill based at times but then you get the lobbies with the people who can't even hold a gun properly um, and that I think that's to do with like score per minute and KD and when lots of noise starts tying together but it isn't entirely skill based because if I was in a skill based lobby the whole time with my stats I've got a 4.6 KD and a 5 win loss I'd be getting put with people who are just absolute sweats all the time and that is the case most times but not not every single game some games we do get some pretty terrible players but like the way it'd work I was thinking maybe like they had skill points for each game mode and when you kept playing each game mode you get up skill points, maybe it was like 1 to 50 or 1 to 100 and then once you get to 50 you got like with the top players of the game so you'd be playing people who were like really good if you were really good at that game mode or you'd be playing people of your standard and that would probably make you better at the game I mean I'd, I'd kind of like to see that, I mean I'm not too bothered about KD anymore or like my stats I'd like to see something like that, like, I'd like to see something that would make me better at the game because there's always that point in Call of Duty where you get so good at it and then you just stay there but if you're playing people who are like your standard all the time you can learn how to play those guys and then that just makes you that much better for the like the worst players but say if you were playing a game mode that you really liked a lot like with teammates or like I don't know even by yourself and you, and you won a lot and you got the skill points like to rank up the game mode or your skill in the game mode and you got to like, I don't know, 50, which maybe was the highest. I know I'm just making all of this stuff up here, like the system. But if you go, it couldn't be an overnight thing, I don't think, because like, if you got up the whole skill points of a game mode overnight, then what would be the point? There would be like no journey in it, there'd be no progressive playing. You wouldn't be playing people who played differently at all times. Like, the guys who with 50 skill points, they'd probably be playing a lot different to the guys with like 20 or something on a game mode. But you should have like, say if they did it, I think they should have it for like separate game modes. So say you don't get skill points across the whole game modes, you get one on each individual game mode. So your performance on one game mode, it doesn't count towards another. So say if you're really good at like free for all, like playing by yourself and not relying on any teammates, that should reward you in the fact that like you get more skill points in that game mode and it doesn't put you in the hard lobbies on domination, but it might put you in the hard lobbies on free for all if that gets me if, he, if that gets me if you get that guys but I hope it makes sense kind of because it is a really really weird system and it's never been put in a Call of Duty before Call of Duty matchmaking has just been the same every year it's just completely random with a little factor of oh this this guy has got this stats so we'll put him against someone with similar stats and by the way I just wanted to say now the reason I to chose this chem strike is because it's like slow and stuff so it's not like a massively good chem strike that I'd upload. I know it's a different gun and all, but I want to get a fast one with the SA805 because I want to upload it to like the series of chem strike Saturdays. And I'm going to talk about the upload schedule now. Like, I'm going to try and upload every day, even if it's like a chem strike. I don't like uploading Honey Badger chem strikes or like AK12 chem strikes as much now because I've like done that and I don't feel rewarded when actually getting them chem strikes. But I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to start posting a lot more. I promise because I've been posting like what twice twice um not twice a week every two days sorry on this channel since like last week when i said i would in the description of the video i don't know if you read it but yeah i did and 
I think it'd be a lot better for me to be honest because I really enjoy doing it. It's just I don't get like loads of time. It's either someone comes upstairs when I'm like commentating and starts talking to me about some random shit that I don't need to know about, or someone comes in my room and then like starts turning loads of stuff on, like my PS4 and say, Oh come online like my brother or something, but yeah. And Advanced Warfare, it should kind of have a little bit of a skill point like a skill point system I think. I'm not expecting anything, but it said, um, there was a quote from a guy who had played the game and he says, this game largely rewards, is largely based around skill or something like that, I don't know if that's an exact quote, might be slightly misquoted, but he says there's a big emphasis on skill, yeah that's it, he said there's a big emphasis on the word skill, and by that, I, that instantly triggered in my head, is there going to be a skill based ranking system, we'll probably find that out tomorrow because there's, I think the multiplayer trails out, but we don't know everything. Only the like the bigger YouTubers know everything who've actually, you know, got the chance to play it maybe yet or I don't know. I, I don't know how, when they get to play it. But when they get to play it, they won't be able to release everything to us until they release it. They'll be able to break it down on the release date. And that's what I don't really like about the bigger YouTubers. They get the advantage of like exposing the larger Call of Duty's like if say if a small YouTuber uploaded like a snippet of Advanced Warfare, like the multiplayer, it just gets taken down. I'm like, why? I mean, maybe they've like contacted Activision or like Infinity Ward or something, but you know, we need we need a chance as well. What we're we going to do with it? We're not going to say, "Oh, I made this game. I made this game." It's just it's just pretty beyond me, to be honest. But that's really it for now, guys. I think this chem strike's coming to an end. I'm just like I'm just sat up here. This is a bot. It's such a good spot. So just holding down and then getting your streaks and stuff. And these guys were really really sweaty in the lobby. That's why I didn't want to take any chances and. I always get like this lag delay, like I always get like this really weird lag delay, you won't be able to see it when it's recorded, but like when it's like recorded, it's, it's smoother, I don't know how to explain it, I was playing Modern Warfare 2 last night, and I got quick scope, like one off a nuke or something, and I was recording, it looked smooth when I played it back on the recording, but it looked absolutely awful <laughs> when I got killed by it, because I was just spraying and getting hit markers, and a lot of the gameplays I might actually upload, it won't be the updated version of Ghost as well, because we've got a lot of Ghost recorded, and apparently the updating ghosts is like you get oh you get like grey and orange hit markers when you're killing and hitting someone, but there probably won't be that on like quite a lot of my chem strikes because I've got about 30 on record and I really need to get all those out there, which me just talking over a gameplay and like you know saying my opinion on something or just wanting to show off a chem strike like on chem strike Saturdays, which I'll be uploading tomorrow for definite, so just stay tuned for that. And there is the chem strike, it's about to be called in. And boom. So that's basically it for now guys. And by all means if you like this if you like this topic or if you agree with me that it should be skill based ranking system for once in a Call of Duty switch it up, please leave a like down below and thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. I'm holding back for anyone. Waiting for the rain.